not a lesbian for P, she turned pisbian. Push P, I'm push a P. This is why I tell you all these kids ain't shit, because I'm confused where they come up with half the stuff that comes out of their mouth. I had to take my daughter to the store this morning to get some new drawers, because apparently her panties and my tubwear lids have the same thing in common where they just magically disappear. We get inside the store, and she's like, Daddy, can I pick out my own underwear? I'm like, you six, baby. You can pick out your own underwear. I said, just don't get nothing too crazy. Daddy ain't running a tiny tot strip club. Whatever. She starts going down now. She's like, Daddy, am I small, medium, or large? I'm like, baby, you probably an extra small, because you ain't bigger than a minute. She's like, Daddy, what are these sizes based on? How big your vagina is? Hey, what? Shut your ass! Oh, shit. No! Ain't got nothing to do with your who are little girl. Got to do with your waist size. If you if you a little bigger, you get a bigger size. You a little smaller, you get a little smaller size. Ain't got nothing to do. She's like, oh, I was wondering, cause I don't think I got. Shh. Don't say it. I don't care nothing about down there. We, I'm not coming back here. I'm not coming, taking you nowhere. You got to do all this on your own. No one has got nothing to do with your hoo ha. School's gonna be the reason I either A, wind up in a mental hospital, or B, go to prison. We're coming back to the house last night after hanging out with some friends for New Year's. I asked Scoot, I'm like, hey, what's your New Year's resolution? She's like, what's that, Daddy? I'm like, it's basically, you know, what can you do better, or what do you want to do better going into the new year? She's like, oh, nothing. I just asked God for junk in the trunk. Shut your little ass up. What, what, are you, what are you talking about? That ain't how this works. Now, you can tell yourself you want a stronger walk with God. You can tell yourself, I want to eat healthier. That's what a New Year's resolution is. It ain't asking God for junk in the trunk. She said, yes, it is. No, it ain't. Shut your little I said, why in the hell would you ask God that in the first place? She's like, I just like helping people, Dad. What in the hell does asking God for junk in the trunk have to do with helping people? She said, you know, thick thighs save lives, Daddy. Get out the car. You're walking home. Matter of fact, get... What are you talking about? Number one reason kids ain't shit, Roblox. I don't know who invented the game, but I hope that on every other Thursday at 3 a.m. in the middle of the night when you get up to go tinkle, you stump your pinky toe on your metal bed frame. This shit's like crack to these kids. You ever seen a 10-year-old melt down because the Wi-Fi went off because it's storming? Oh, my 10-year-old just did. Daddy! Daddy! Hey, man, what in the hell's wrong with you coming down? Daddy, I was in the middle of a battle. I was about to be crowned king, and, and the game is not working. What do I do? Take a deep breath, calm your ass down, it ain't that serious, it's just a game. Just a game, just a game, I wouldn't expect you to understand, oh man, you didn't have games back in your day. Little boy, I ain't but 35 years old, what are you talking about, we had video games. Did you have internet? Could you talk to your friends? You ain't got no damn friends, somebody don't even like your little ass, get my face. Roblox, you don't got these kids out here tweaking and losing their damn mind. He 10, freaking out. Oh, whoop his little ass. I told y'all these kids ain't shit. I'm gonna set the scene for you. It's 0600, 6 a.m. if you must. I'm peacefully asleep in my bed. I am dreaming about saving the world that is currently being taken over by zombie pygmy goats. I get woken up by little fun size Satan as she whispers in my ear, Daddy, did you know frogs don't have buttholes? Ah! Scoop, God! What is, what is wrong with you? What, what is wrong with you? Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't realize I was a bother. You said I could come tell you anything. Little girl, it is six o'clock in the morning and I do not care that those little frogs don't have buttholes. She said, well, excuse me, I'll just leave. Thank you, thank you. I'm like, why, matter of fact, stop. Why in the hell do you know frogs don't have buttholes? She said, cause I Googled it. You ain't never wanted to know nothing like that. No, Scoop. No, baby. I'm 35 years old and not once in my life have I ever wondered, does a frog have a butthole? What? You know who's really toxic? Kids. Kids don't care about nothing. They have your blood pressure up and then act like they don't understand why you upset. I'm in the store with my daughter. She's in the buggy. I'm pushing her around. A woman comes walking up to me. She recognizes me from the old Tiki Talk. She says, hey, Officer Udi. I'm like, hey, ma'am, how are you? I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you. I said, this is my daughter, Scoot, a.k.a. as you may know her, Baby Lucifer. She looks down at Scoot and she's like, oh, my God, you are so precious. I love your outfit. My daughter starts describing every article of clothing that she has on like she's got an endorsement deal with them. Oh, my hoodie's from Justice. My shirt is from Justice. These are my Old Navy pants. These are my Converse. I would tell you what type of panties I got on, but I'm not wearing any. Hey, girl, shut your ass. What are you talking about? Ma'am, I'm so sorry. Scoop, why don't you got on drawers? She's like, whatever, Dad. It's a joke. Calm down. She's like, ma'am, my panties are from Walmart. They have a unicorn on them. Ma'am, I'm so sorry. We got to go because I'm getting hot. My blood pressure's getting up. I'm getting hot. It's official, people. Baby Lucifer's little ass is going number one overall to the pediatric psychopaths. 
I got a little change drawer in my room. Every time that I come in, I got cash in my pocket. I put all the change in there. So I'm sitting on my bed this morning and I'm counting the change. Scoop comes walking in. Talking, wow, daddy, where'd you get all that money? Scoop, this ain't got nothing to do with you. This is my money. You need to leave. She's like, oh, is that how it is? I said, yeah, that's how it is. She walks out of my room. A few minutes later, this little girl comes running into my room with a ski mask on, pointing a Nerf gun at me, talking about, give me the money. Look, if you don't get out of my face, stop pointing that thing at me. She said, you got to ask yourself a question, daddy. How much is your life worth? I'm about to show you how much more like get out of my face. I see you really gonna take my life over some funky ass quarters She pulls the ski mask up. She's like wow someone's not smart. It's me your daughter fake gun Oh, you know what ain't fake this belt. I'm about to put on your ass. Get out of my room What are you what are you oh Gosh, you're gonna be a bank. I gotta she got to go to the convent. She needs Jesus. I've always prided myself on being someone who appears approachable. Like, if you see me out and about, you shouldn't get nervous or uncomfortable. You walk up, hey, how you doing? Good to see you. But time and place, people. Time and place place me and my son were coming back from out of town we got to use the restroom so we stop at a gas station as we walk in there's two urinals and two stalls my son takes the first one i take the second one we start doing our thing a gentleman walks in and takes the third stall as i'm finishing up he looks over at me he's like do you come here often huh you talking about to the bathroom i drink a lot of water so i, I would say yes he's like how do you like it using the bathroom it's okay I don't feel like I got much choice because I feel like bad stuff happens to you if you hold it in. Dude looks at me again. Well, next time you're in here, maybe we can hang out. Huh? Hey, man, just the bathroom. Hell no. What? No, no, no. Come on, son. Wrap it up, wash your hands. We got to go. Now, y'all know how I feel about elderly people, my favorite human beings on this earth. They got no filter, don't give a shit about your feelings, and they're just going to say whatever the hell they want to say. Well, I had to take my kids to the mall earlier to go shoe shopping. We get done shoe shopping. Before we leave the mall, we decide to stop at the food court. Well, we're standing in line at this little Chinese place, and I'm noticing that there's a woman walking around with her son. The boy got to be about four or five, but she got him on a full-blown leash. Got to be a 10-foot leash. Well, there's an elderly lady behind me who has not taken her eyes off this woman and this child the entire time. As this woman goes to walk by she noticed this elderly lady looking at her and she was like can i help you this elderly lady did not miss a beat she's like oh he's just so precious what rescue did you get him from oh! <gasps> this woman got so pissed she was like excuse me i think you need to take that back this elderly lady looked at her and she said what you gonna sick him on me oh <gasps> ma'am ma'am did you just call that woman's child a puppy we got to go kids we got this is how I know I'm raising a future psychopath. My daughter calls me into her room last night. I'm sitting in the recliner. She's like, Daddy, come here. Daddy, come here. I go walking into her room. In the middle of her floor is a shoebox with some fake-ass flowers on it. I'm like, little girl, what is going on? She said, this is a funeral, Daddy. You need to pay your respect. A funeral for who? Who died? She said, Sally and Susie. Now, Sally and Susie are her little twin baby dolls that she had. I'm like, okay, well, what the hell happened to Sally and Susie then? She said, well, they lived a good life, but it was time for them to go. Go where, you little mini bat dud? What did you do? Tell me. She's like, you sure are asking a lot of questions. You wearing a wire starts putting the hands on Get your damn hands off me. Yes, I am wearing a wire. I work for the TTB, the Tiny Terrorist Bureau, and your little ass is about to go to jail for a double homicide on some fake-ass baby dolls if you don't start talking. She take off running out the room screaming, free scoot, free scoot, they'll never take me alive. Get your little ass back in here. Clean up this mess. What is wrong? What are you, what? I don't know what to do. You ever legit been worried about somebody else's baby? Like legit scared for their life? I was today. I had to take my kids shopping earlier, so we're doing our thing walking around the store. When this little girl comes walking around the aisle too quick, she's got headphones on her ear. She runs slam into Scoop. Scoop falls back, lands on her butt. I go running over to check on Scoop. I feel the ground start to shake. I see steam coming out of Scoop's ears. I'm starting to get nervous. This little girl takes her headphones off. She's like, ah, you're okay. Just watch where you're going. Scoop jumped up like she levitated off the ground. I'm like, Scoop, please. Please, before I could get there, Scoot looked at this girl. She said, Jesus forgives. I don't. I'll see you soon. Scoot, go, 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 go. The little girl just looked at me confused as shit. I looked at Scoot. I'm like, Scoot, please stop. She said, shh, I'll take care of it, daddy. Take care of what? We got to go. Everybody got security. Scoot, Scoot. This little girl, I don't know where she went. I never saw her again. I was so nervous. You know what's rough? 
when kids use your own words against you and you're not sure what you're supposed to say. I picked my kids up from school today. I asked my son, I said, hey, how was your day? He said, it was good, daddy. I asked my daughter how her day was. She said, it was okay. I'm tired. I didn't sleep good last night. I'm like, oh no, why didn't you sleep good? She said, I had bad dreams. I said, well, what'd you dream about, baby? She said, I dreamed I got kidnapped. I said, what? I said, stranger danger. We know we don't talk to stranger. How'd you get kidnapped? She said, I had a moment of weakness and they grabbed me. I'm like, what'd you do? She's like, what do you think I did? I jacked their asses up. Hey, we don't talk like that. What are you talking about? I said, it's not real. She said, daddy, aren't you the one that always say dreams can become a reality? Baby, that ain't the type of dreams I'm talking about. That's not the type of dream. She said, well, if it ever happens for real, just know I beat ass. Stop talking like, get out the truck. You walking home, get out the truck. No, don't even walk home. I don't want you to get kidnapped. God. That's why I tell y'all these kids ain't shit. Because they say stuff, and then you're left to explain it. I come out of my house this morning to take the kids to school. It is super cold. As soon as I walk outside, I'm like, it's cold as hell out here. Scoop's like, why do you say hell, Dad? Hell's hot. I'm like, well, you should know you run it. Uh, but I'm talking about H-A-I-L, not H-E double hockey sticks, as in the little frozen balls that fall during freezing rain and thunderstorms. She's like, oh, okay. She gets in the truck. We take them to school. As I'm dropping her off, the teacher opens the door. She jumps out and she goes, Burr, you are right, Daddy. It's cold as balls out here. Scoop! Oh, please. Stop. Shh. The teacher gonna roll her eyes, look down at school, look up at me, and she's like, huh? I said, hey, teacher, we was talking about cold as hell, like H-A-I-L, not, I don't know, not, not the dingleberries, but like the little frozen balls. She's like, just have a good day, Kevin. Great way to start. People always ask, Udi, why you spend so much time at Walmart? One, super convenient to where I live. Two, content for days, always something going on. I'm at the self-checkout line being Walmart's employee of the month, scanning my own groceries, when a woman and her two kids come walking to the next register beside me. Well, the little boy sees a toy on the shelf and grabs it and says, Mommy, I want it. Mommy, I want it. She said, well, how much is it? He said, I don't know. Well, I'm guessing there was no barcode or scan tag on it because she calls the attendant over. The attendant put some numbers in. I don't know how much this toy costs, but the mom freaked out. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's way too much. You need to put it back. That boy looked at his mom and she, he said, just put it in your pocketbook with everything else you stuffed in there. Huh? Oh, you still... Oh, still it. This woman, I'm talking about Casper ass, white face, went straight pale, looked at her son and said, shh. The attendant looked at her, the woman looked at her. I said, oh, this baby out here dry snitching on his mama. I don't know what happened because I don't get in people's business, but I was leaving. She was getting escorted to the office. Yo, y'all people at Walmart, y'all gotta chill. I'm not kidding. I just came out of Walmart. I had to pick up a couple things before the game today. I'm on the frozen aisle because I'm still looking for a little Debbie Christmas tree ice cream. At this point, it's a myth because I still can't find it. Anyway, a man come walking by me. He got like six kids. His youngest baby got to be about two is going ham. I mean, throwing things, screaming, trying to get out of the buggy, and he's handling it like a champ. Anyways, this woman comes walking by him, snarls her nose like, are all those kids yours? This dude looked her dead in the face and said, of course not, ma'am. I work for a condom company. These are just customer complaints. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I tell you, this woman's face got real red. She was like, I have never. He said, well, now you have. Worry about yourself. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. My name's Kevin. We now friends because I like you. I like you, buddy. Worry about yourself, ma'am. Have kids, they said. Oh, it'll be fun, they said. They lied. I had to take my son to get braces the other day. As he's laying in the chair, the doctor's putting his braces on. His teeth start to hurt. Scoot walks over and grabs his hand. One of the most wholesome moments I've seen in a long time. I'm like, damn, is her heart starting to thaw? Oh, I was wrong. We get done, we walk outside. Scoot's like, Daddy, I need to tie my shoe. I'm like, okay, baby. She bends down to tie her shoe. Me and Braylon continue to walk to the truck. Next thing I know, Braylon gets busted in the back of the head with a snowball. What the heck? I look back, Scoot's got her arms like that. I'm like, Scoot, did you just bust Bubba in the back of the head? She said, I did. I'm like, why? She said, because if you give them an inch, they'll take a mile, Daddy. I ain't soft. What the hell are you talking? You couldn't just let me have this moment. One moment where you two were actually getting along. She said, Daddy, remember, just because it looked like sugar don't mean it ain't salt. I don't even know what the hell that means, but if you don't get your little ass in this truck, you ain't going to have one. What? 10 out of 10 do not recommend getting impossible nuggets for a child who is in love with nothing but chicken nuggets. She knew immediately they weren't real chicken nuggets. And I ain't never seen her that mad before. I'm in the closet hoping she'll calm down. 
Cause I don't know. Hey, hey, Daddy said he was playing. I got, I do it. I'm door dashing real chicken nuggets. I'm door dashing real. Ch I'm door dashing real chicken nuggets. Don't get the fake ones. Don't get the fake ones. I just want to clear this up because there seems to be some confusion about this. If you are on the highway, the left lane is for people who have no regard for their own life. You understand? We all going to hell with gasoline draws on and we got shit to do, so move out the way. The right lane is for people who apparently have all their shit together and have left 12 hours early for an appointment that was only five minutes from their house so they can take their sweet ass time. The middle lanes are for people who are confused as shit. They don't know what they want to do. That's cool. Stay your ass right there. But if you get in the left lane, Move your ass. Gone. You see me? Gone. Right lane, do you, boo-boo. Middle lane, confused as shit. Take your time. You'll get there. Left lane, gone. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.